Today, let's introduce position feedback and attentions of actuators with single turn encoder and multi turn encoder. Here are two sets of EROP 70s. The left one is actuator with multi turn encoder, the right one is actuator with single turn encoder. Look at the model label on the box M represents multi turn, S represents single turn. Here are the actuators and their accessories after unboxing. Actuator with multi turn encoder has an additional 3.6 voltage multi turn battery. Debugger connection of the two EROPs has been completed. Let's explain difference between single turn and multi turn via the pre installed PC software. Open PC software, click connection settings, choose and connect the corresponding ID, then open up monitor. The actuator with multi turn encoder detected power down status. The actuator with single turn encoder displays disable. For actuator with multi turn encoder, Open encoder interface and click reset load encoder. Click confirm. The multi-turn error report message has been eliminated and the status display is disabled. Then check position parameters in encoder interface. Choose full close the loop, which means the actuator capitalized on dual encoder to realize full closed control. A connector zero air joint represents absolute single turn encoder for motor. B connector zero joint represents absolute single turn encoder for output shaft. Choose multi-turn in encoder interface of actuator with multi-turn encoder. It means the actuator supports load position feedback multi-turn counting function. Do not choose multi-turn in encoder interface of actuator with single turn encoder. It means the actuator supports load position feedback multi-turn counting function only in the situation of uninterrupted power. Firstly, demonstrate actuator with multi-turn encoder's motion. Open the motion interface. Click enable. The position value is 10,000 account. Input 393,216 in PTP move relative. Click forward. The actuator moved forward to the designated position. Click motor stop. Now, the value in position is equal to the value in load encoder position. Disconnect power and restart. Then open monitor interface to see whether the value in position and in load encoder position keeps consistent. The conclusion is the position feedback of actuator with multi-turn encoder is consistent before and after power off. Then open motion interface. Click enable. Input 655,360 in PTP move relative and click forward. Now, let's observe the motion track of actuator with multi-turn encoder. Click motor stop after the actuator with multi-turn encoder moved forward to the designated position. The actuator moved forward to revolutions and the value in position is 1,058,575. Disconnect power and restart. Check whether the value remains the same. The conclusion is the position feedback of actuator with multi-turn encoder is consistent before and after power off. Now, let's do comparison by demonstrating actuator with single-turn encoder's motion. Open the motion interface and click enable. The position value is 10,000 account. Input 393,216 in PTP move relative. Click forward. Click motor stop after the actuator moved forward to the designated position. The value in position is equal to the value in load encoder position, which is 403,219. Disconnect power and restart. Open monitor interface. The values in position and in load encoder position remains the same. Open motion interface, input 655,360 in PTP move relative and click forward. Now, let's observe the motion track of actuator with this single turn encoder. Click motor stop after the actuator with single turn encoder moved forward to the designated position. The actuator moved forward to revolutions. Disconnect power and restart. Open monitor interface. The value in position is inconsistent before and after the power failure the multi-turn value has been lost. The conclusion is actuator with single turn encoder will lose multi-turn values after a power failure. For actuator with single turn encoder, adjust the output position of actuator reducer before installation to ensure that the boundary position 0 and 524,287 of single turn. For actuator with multi turn encoder, it is not necessary to adjust the output position of actuator reducer to match mechanical 0 position before installation. But a 3.6 voltage multi turn power supply battery needs to be installed before the use of actuator with multi turn encoder and then connect PC and click reset load encoder in encoder interface to clear multi-turn battery error. If actuator with multi-turn encoder runs without the battery, an error report will occur after the next power failure and restart, and multi-turn counts will be lost that is, position feedback becomes single-turn position of output encoder. Regardless of whether a actuator with multi-turn encoder or a actuator with single-turn encoder is used, controller uses the position feedback of actuator output. So when setting actuator, servo parameters on controller side, the gear ratio is set to 1, and the encoder resolution is set to 19-bit.